Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Gina. If you don't know me, if you do, then hello. Welcome. Um, I thought my first ever video on my channel could be me trying out a bunch of new products that I bought. Now, you just start with my eyes. Sorry, it's all in packages. I'm just going to like empty it all out. I've got some Fenty Beauty eyeliners. I have wanted this upside down. I wanted these since they came out, honestly, because of the yellow. I'm in love with it. Um, the names of the shades are... I'll get them out and then I'll tell you. This one is Banana Blaze, this lovely yellow, which is the whole reason why I bought them. This is Wet T-shirt, just this white. Um, Hottie Alert. Got this blue, which is in the shade Skinny Dip. Got this one here which is Lime Fever and Papaya Mama. Oh, I nearly lost that down the side of my bed, that was close. Oh well. Also got the Elf Putty, Poreless Putty Primer, which everyone has been talking about. I'm trying to get out. I have got the L'Oreal Paris infallible is it infallible or infallible i think it's infallible um 24 hour fresh wear foundations i've got two um because i didn't quite know what shade i'd be one is shade ivory and the shade linen i've also got nyx or nynx however you want to say it lingerie lipsticks but yeah i've only ever tried one of these which was in the shade scandalous but i love the formula it feels really nice on my lips um, but I've got lots of shades here. So I've got this highlighter palette by Makeup Revolution. Oh, it is so pretty. I love it so much. It is called Ultra Cool Glow. Is this right at the front? It's called Ultra Cool, Gl cool Glow and I love that. It is just so pretty. And the last thing that I'm going to also be testing out. Sorry, I'm a pillow is something that definitely isn't new to the world obviously it's benefits black eyeliner roller liner eyeliner <laughs> um i only bought the mini of this because i don't always wear eyeliner but when i do i only use the elf um pot cream eyeliner and it doesn't wear very well with me and it smudges and stuff so i bought this mini <laughs> that's so cute there's only tiny whoa Smells of eyeliner. And the last thing, I broke the box for it, is the Laura Mercier powder. You do not understand how badly I wanted to try this. I wanted to try out this because everyone raves about it, so. It just smells like powder. <laughs> I'm so excited to use all these products, so let's get on with it. Okie dokie, so first I'm going to start off with my eyeballs. So I'm going to do my eyebrows with the Makeup Revolution. Is it precise brow pencil? I don't know, it doesn't say on the thing. Pretty sure it's precise brow pencil. So, I'm just gonna start and just brush it through my brows very, very lightly. Because I can't really be bothered to have a full, full, thick brow today. But it's probably gonna end up happening in saying that. Oh, this is um the Makeup Obsession Clear Brows, Fluffy Brows clay brow gel okay next because i didn't get a concealer just coming out. um i have got makeup revolutions super size um conceal and define concealer in six six c point six point five oh my voice that's such a struggle c six point five which i'm just gonna put i'm just gonna put a little bit on my lid because um I'm using eyeliner, so... Oh, I just moved my contact around. Oh, that's horrible. I only put a little bit on to kind of cancel out the redness on my eyes, because I've got very red, veiny eyelids. Let's take the Laura Mercier powder. This is in translucent. Whoa, that just got all over me. Whoa, it's very finely milled. Wow. Now, eyeliner. Mm. We're not going to be able to use them all, but I don't want to use a few of them. I definitely want to use the yellow because 
I've been dying to use that. Let me swatch on my hand. So here are the six eyeliners just swatched on my hand. Oh, that yellow is just beautiful. I'm kind of leaning towards the yellow and the white and the green. I think, yeah, I'm going to use the yellow, the white and the green. It looks like some of these stain a bit. But that might be different because I'm obviously wearing makeup on my eyes and not on my hand. So I'm going to take a banana split. Okay, there is that eyeliner. Um, I might have to do another layer. There we go. That's that one. Next with, I've forgotten the name of it already, Lime Fever. Ooh. My sister has been keeping all of my new makeup from me. I told her to hide it because the second I get a new product, it's I don't even wait like five minutes before trying it out. I, as soon as it comes in the mail, oh, okay, so this feels a little bit heavy on my eye and it's starting to crack up. That's not good. Look. I don't know if you can see that. But it's starting to crack up a bit. It's really drying up. That's not very good. Yeah, so my sister had to basically hide everything from me. For the last, like, week or two. While everything was slowly arriving in the mail. So that is that liner. I have made a bit of a mess of it though, but it's fine. <laughs> it is fine. We'll use the white one in a sec. Now I'm going to go in with the Benefit Roller Liner. Does that? No, it doesn't. That's okay. I think all eyeliners should be able to have the lid just put on there. But oh, it makes me mad that I can't. Just taking this under the yellow like that. Okay, it's struggling a little bit to go on top of the Fenty liner, but it is actually doing a pretty damn good job. It shows that this eyeliner is really good. Because if another product can work well on top of a product that isn't doing its best, that definitely shows how good the last product is. I really can't talk and do makeup at the same time. I can't really talk and do anything at the same time. I can't talk and do the dishwasher at the same time. I can't walk and talk at the same time because it completely wears me out. Because like my brain is thinking, my mouth is moving and I'm trying to walk. And at the same time as trying to walk I'm trying to focus on not tripping. So I got totally off topic then. And that is that. I'm just going to do the same for the green liner. Okay, the green liner didn't crack as much as the yellow one did. Still cracked a bit though. Just not as badly. That doesn't look too bad, you know. I'll admit, the yellow side looks better than the green side. But that's because of my horrendous eyeliner skills. And there we go. That is that. Now this side feels very heavy and that would be because of the yellow liner, um, not because of the Benefit liner. Also if you keep wondering why I'm looking like Kia, it's because I've got my Alexis Stone palette there, it's a really big mirror. Okay, so that's that done. Now I'm going to take the Fenty liner in wet t-shirt. Or should I do this after? I'll do this after I've done all my base actually. I'll keep it up there so I remember. Now, I'm going to have to deal with all of the liner in my lashes while I do my base makeup. So, starting off, I'm going to take the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. Um, I don't really know how to apply this. But I'm just going to... I have washed my hands by the way and my face is washed. Everything is washed. Oh, that feels really nice. I'm going to put it where I get my pores the most. Which is around my nose. It's pretty much all over my face. Is that a lot? I don't even know how much I'm meant to take on. 
Okay, we'll just we'll just work with it. <laughs> now I'm just gonna leave that to settle into my skin for a few seconds. It feels like not massively sticky, but a little sticky, which is good. It means it'll cling onto my makeup a bit more. So that's what we're gonna start on. Start on. <laughs> As if I haven't been doing makeup this entire time. <laughs> so. As I said, the L'Oreal Infallible or Infallible foundation. Give them a mix. Hopefully you can still see me pretty well. I don't have any lights I could have on me. But I'm sure it'd be I'm sure it's fine. I'm sure you can still see me. Okay, I'm back. I've got my palette. Um this one is just from Primark. And we're gonna go in with the shade linen as Ooh, by the way, this palette is just from Primark. I think it was like a pound. Um, hmm, I think that might be a bit dark. I'll put it on and if it's too dark, I'll just add some of the light shade. No, it's too dark. <laughs> I'm not very good at matching my own shades. Like this. Hmm. There we go, that's better. That is more like the sort of shade I'd go for. Oh, that looks so nice. What the hell? Usually I'll go in with a brush first. I'm just going to do that now, actually. Oh, okay, now I've got a lot of foundation on. Whoops. <laughs> oh, well. We can make it work. I know it looks streaky, but I'm not going to leave it like this. I'm just applying it with a brush to have that initial coverage. And then I'm going to take the sponge. And blend it out. Mm, this does look really good though. How did everyone else start off with like their love for makeup? If anyone has love for makeup. Or when did you just like, when was your first level of wearing it? Because I didn't wear makeup for the like first half of the year of year seven. Then I got introduced to mascara and I remember I used to wear it to school, but I used to get smudged quite quickly because I just wasn't used to wearing it. I used to rub my eyes a lot and stuff. But I I ended up not being able to live without it because I thought I looked ugly without it, which is a little bit extreme of me, but I, I loved wearing mascara. Then I moved on to wearing lipstick at school like every single day and I used to wear this one shade, Nairobi Carmelia by um, the body shop. It was a matte lip, liquid lip. And then I remember I went to, on a school trip with, like in year eight, I think, with like some of my school friends. Um, and I went to the shop with this girl I didn't really like. We mentioned her name, but um, I didn't like her at all. But I wanted to start wearing makeup, and she used to wear makeup like to school every single day. And I thought, oh, she'd be a good person to ask. She wasn't, because she never picked the right shade. <laughs> but she, I thought, oh, maybe she'd know what shade is good. No, what, not, what, not what shade, what foundation is good. And I mean, we did pick out, uh, looking back now, we did pick out quite a good foundation. It was the um, Maybelline... What was it? The, the, the Satin Liquid Skin one? I don't know. I don't remember what it's called, but it was a Maybelline foundation, and I I like look back now, and it is like it's got a lot of good reviews and stuff. Um, and I bought that, and I wore I just wore that on my entire face, like, and nothing else. And that and mascara and lipstick, and I did that that like every day on the school trip. And then how did I even apply it? I think I bought like this really rubbish like flat sponge. I didn't buy it because like proper sponges weren't really around then were they pretty sure they were i used one of the square sponges and i just kind of like spread it across my face the girl that i didn't like she did it for me um and like me and my best friend were on this trip and she was she my best friend she was like you look a bit weird and i was like i know i feel like i look a bit weird and it felt weird on my face for ages it used to feel really really heavy because i just wasn't used to it but then i watched school every single day when i ran out i just couldn't be bothered to buy a new one so i never i never went back um, until, I didn't start wearing foundation again, until, it's like April last, April, May 
last year I started wearing foundation again um, and that was weird for me because I never I hadn't worn it since that like those few weeks at school but yeah there's a little memory where did everyone else start though because I didn't even start doing eyeshadow till like nearly three years ago because it wasn't it wasn't really something I was interested in I didn't really like makeup like I do now now it's just like it's fun but back then it used to be just kind of something I had to do to look pretty oh it looks so good around my nose product usually looks really bad around my nose but this looks so good what oh and it was the same concealer as before the conceal and define concealer in c6.5 i do like when i'm talking on camera i tend to ramble a lot any of you who come from like my instagram you'd know that the second i start i cannot seem to stop and i have no idea why my base looks really good like look look around my nose it usually goes really bad now I'm going to kind of bake. I don't like to leave bake on for very long because I'm not a fan of how dry it feels. Just gonna pop this powder under my eyes. I might bake for a while though, just because I want to see how this powder works. Next up, I am gonna just contour slash bronze. I'm just going to take this little uh, pressed contour by Makeup Revolution. It was from one of their advent calendars. And okay, whoa, 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 whoa. chill out, chill out, chill out, chill out, chill out. Ah, yikes. <laughs> I found a few locations for chill out, chill out, chill out, chill out near you. The first one is Chill Out H-O-R-S-E-W-E-A-R Limited at Unit 6 Woodside Farm, Douglas Lane, Cheshire. The second one Cheshire. is Chill Out Spa at 10 Stanley Grange. Cheshire's Business not that Village, near me, Google. Road, Nosley. The third one is okay, Chill Google. Out Limited. Okay, Google. Off. <laughs> that was a lot, Sorry. wasn't it? Power controls is not yet supported. <laughs> but I took way too much of my brush then. That looks fine. Just blend it into my hairline a bit more. It's not what I was going for. I was going for something light, but... It's fine. I'm really scared now. I like to build it up. That is very, very pigmented. Go, like, along here. Very, very lightly, because I don't want to, like... Kill... My makeup too much that has come really low down but we'll cut that out in a minute this side looks better mm, it always does it always does take my laura messier powder again i'm just gonna there we go so I have left this powder on way longer than I usually would, so I'm just going to kick it off with this fat brush. Wow, that's brightened up my under eyes a bit as well. I'm going to kick that off now. I set my face like a hundred times during my makeup. Okay, some massive exaggeration. I set my face like twice. Unless I'm doing eyeshadow, then I'd set it after I've done my eyeshadow, then I'd set it again after I've done my face, and then I'd set it again. I do it a lot because um, I like to th believe that my face is completely stuck on. I'm just going to powder the rest of my face with a tiny bit of the Laura Mercier powder. Does anyone else have like something, like when they're doing the makeup, they have like one of their brushes or like a sponge? One second and then they turn around and it's just completely gone and you're like I literally just had that, where did it go? Baking my smile line, it shows up really fast like See This is Cherry Truffle Makeup Fixing Spare by Makeup Revolution I love the smell I'm gonna take the white eyeliner in What's it called again? Wet t-shirt, I'm never gonna remember the names of these And I'm going to do some dots. 
voila <laughs> that is that done i'm just gonna wait for that to dry and then we're gonna move on to blush because i feel like wearing it today the sun has come out a bit and now i want to wear my blush it's like from the same advent calendar just to make a revolution blush and i'm gonna take this blush brush i'm just gonna I just realised I forgot to contour my nose. Hmm, I don't like it. Why is it clinging that part weird? To that part weird. I said that weird. I don't like that. I don't like that. I'm probably never going to use that again. My lips are really dry. I got fins and nails on my feet. Okie crokey. Highlighter time! This is my favourite part of makeup. Um, so yeah, we use an ultra cool glow highlighter. Which one shall we use? Which one do you think? They are all so stunning. I love coloured highlighter more than anything in the world. I get why people don't like it. I won't wear it on a daily basis, but I do wear it on a daily basis. I want to try out one of the coloured ones. I want to try out this one. Because although these three look very similar, this one, they, they look slightly different. I think that one has like a white base, that one does have a white base to it. And then purple, like chrome. This one, you ha as you can see, I don't know if you can see, has a pink base to it. And this one obviously has a bluish, bluish purple base. And also there's this silver, like I didn't even know you could get silver highlighter. Should I swatch them? Let's swatch them. There's all of them. Whoa! Okay, they look really good. I'm definitely leaning towards that one there, but I feel like it'll be too much. I might, I might just do it safe and use the yellow. Or should I use the pink? I'm, you know what, I'm going to use the pink, which is this pink here. It's not like the red red. And I'm going to take a little highlighter brush. There you go. Girl! <laughs> that was the weirdest thing I've ever done in my life. Whoa. Whoa. Wow, that is very glittery. If you don't like glittery highlighter, then I would not recommend this palette. But I love glittery highlighter. Wow, okay, I'm definitely overdoing the highlighter, but... I can. <laughs> okay, now we're going to put it on my nose and everything. And to do that, we're just going to use this flat meant to be a concealer brush then we're gonna put on my inner corner as you do other inner corner my brow bone you have to build this highlighter up quite a bit as you can see I'm taking it again and i'm just gonna put it here and here now Here's another time I set my face. I spray after I've done highlighter. That is my base completely done now. Lipstick time! Oh, I've been waiting for this for ages. Okay. I'm going to try them all on so you can see. First, I'm going to try out this one here in LL07. Wow. That is very opaque. Okay, there's that one in 007. No, LL07. <laughs> oh, that's gorgeous. Obviously, it dries down like that. And that is so pretty. I am in love with that shade. Now, this one in LL01. These two are very, very similar shades. I'm okay with that. Oh, I love orange lipstick. It is one of my favourite shades ever. I don't wear orange very- wow, that makes my teeth look so white. I don't wear orange very often because it's a difficult colour to wear out. If I do wear it, I tend to wear like brown, very, very neutral eyeshadow. But I love it. It's one of my favourite colours. This is a lot less in your face than other, other orange lipsticks that I do have. So I'm definitely going to be making use out of this because that is absolutely beautiful. So, next up, we have the shade LL05. No! No! That is so sad. 
Mm, that would have been really pretty as well. Um, the doe foot. The end of the doe foot has got stuck inside. So, look. Oh, it's so sad. So that's, that's a shame. <sighs> anyway, um, next is LL12. Right here. Excuse the horrific way I've lined my lips. Because that is just terrible. But, that is a really pretty colour. I'm definitely going to get a lot of use out of this in the summertime because it is really, really pretty and just, you know, sweet and simple. I like that a lot. Next is LL06. Here is that shade. Oh, no, I got all over teeth. It's not crazy opaque, but it is very, very pretty. If you like bright pink lipsticks, then this is definitely for you. This isn't really my kind of thing. If I was to wear this in any way, it'd be in the centre of my lips. So it will get use. But I'm not obsessed with the colour. But some of you might be, so here it is if you are. Next is LL02. Which is this cute pinky nude shade. There is that shade. This is really pretty. This is probably the sort of lipstick that I'd wear on a no makeup makeup sort of day. But yeah, this is really pretty, really cute. Um, if you like the shade. Definitely go for it. I'm pretty sure these are like £7 each. Okay, bye. That one's just held on the side of my bed. I'll be able to get that later. I've got three more shades left, so that's not too bad. Next is LL03. <laughs> oh no! Okay, I've outlined my lips really, really horribly again. I think that looks really pretty. That is definitely going to get a lot of use. That is absolutely gorgeous. Oh, I love that. Next up is LL01. And that's that shade. That is really pretty. It's sort of a my lips but better sort of look. I like that a lot. That is really, that a lot, I really, that's going to get a lot of use. English Gina. This is why you don't test out 100,000 lipsticks before you've done on your makeup. Look how pink it looks. Ah! Oh no. That's fine. You'll notice less when I've got my lipstick on. So the last one is LL08. And I saved this hopefully because hopefully this will match my look a lot better because it's quite um, neutral. Yikes. Uh, oh, my light. Why did that jump me? A fly just flew into the window. Oh, poor fly. That is all of the lipsticks. Let me know which one is your favourite out of all of them. I am just going to fix this eyeliner, and eyeliner a little bit more, uh, apply some mascara and some lashes and I'll be right back. I have pulled my blind down a bit now and um, put you on my front camera. It's a completed look. Um, the lashes I've got on are by Lux Lashes. They're on Depop. Uh, they were only... Two pound ninety nine, two pound ninety nine in ninety nine p shipping. So they are gorgeous. These are in the style Paris. Um, I had to trim them so they fit my eye shape, but they are super comfortable. I wear them all the time. I have like so many different styles from them. They're just they're beautiful. Um, I love all of the products I've used so far. I will be doing a check in later, so you can see then what. Uh, I don't know look. <laughs> don't look at the camera, I'll look at the screen. I'll do some shots now so you can see what it looks like now. And I'll see you, I'll, I'll see you later on. Bye. Hey guys, it's the next day, it's Sunday. I decided to do a check-in today rather than the last night because last night there was a few problems i really messed up the foundation with like overlapping it so i thought it'd be a lot more fair to the primer and foundation if i did a check in today so so far it is wearing beautifully i've had it on for four and a half hours my under eyes look good they're not creased or anything um i used the laura mercier powder again today i did everything exactly the same apart from my eyeshadow um and my lips everything else is exactly the same though 
Um, yeah, it looks smooth and it doesn't, it's not separating, it's not clinging to any dry patches. It's just, it's wearing beautifully, it looks pretty much exactly the same as it did when I put it on. Which is really great. Thank you for watching and I'll be back in a second. Hey guys, I'm, I am back. Um, it's 10 o'clock now, so I've had my makeup on for 13 hours. I want to say it's actually worn pretty well considering the fact that I kind of like had a mini nap and I've just been like lying in bed all day um it does look brilliant I'll show you on the back camera this is it around my nose if I can dim it down you can see over there it's not horrible but it has separated a bit I haven't touched it once during the day and my makeup always breaks around my nose because that's where I tend to get like the most oily. Oh, okay, I'm not in focus. Yeah, that's when I tend to get the most where I tend to get the most oily. Um, but I'd go out like it because it's not it's not like crazy obvious. I still think my face looks pretty good considering I've had it on for thirteen hours. So there's your review. I definitely recommend the primer and the foundation. It looks pretty beautiful. It does look really, really good. It's worn off slightly here and a bit here on my chin, like there on both sides. I think my full review is this foundation and this primer, they're really, really good. I definitely recommend them. The powder, she's beautiful. She's kept my under eyes looking. <laughs> um, the lipsticks feel comfortable. Uh, they're a little bit drying, but um, whether that bothers you or not is a personal preference thing. The eyeliners. Now, the Benefit Roller Liner, that was beautiful. It's applied perfectly. It's barely moved. It's only moved here a bit because um, my eyes are watering, so that's my own fault. It's not a waterproof eyeliner, so that's okay. The Fenty Beauty eyeliners, they do crack. Um, they do dry up, and you do have to put like two layers on, so I wouldn't really recommend them for the for the price they are. Thank you for watching. Um, I'll hopefully see you in the next video. Have a great day, evening, night, whatever. Um, I'll see you soon. Bye.